Welcome back, everyone, to the Discipline the Gens podcast. I'm your host, Maddie Betts. I'm here with Gino Bet Openly and Trevor, and we are back after a few day layoff. A quick recap of the Friday show: four and one overall record on the free picks. Uh, I believe Gino went one and one. Trevor went three and zero. Oh. And an algo recap of yesterday. If you're a Discipline the Gens member at disciplinethegens.com, seven and eight, but plus two point seven five point plus two point seven five units, a thirty five percent ROI. And last but definitely not least, my UFC card up five point eight units this weekend. Thank God for the Shavkat. Third round submission, Hail Mary, with a minute to go. There was never a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't even I didn't even give in to the troll. I shouted out Maddie. I'm like, my homie got a 19X. He's I like, it's, o- it's only 9.5X. I'm like, bro, you know if you give out two parlays and one of them hits a 10X, you don't say I hit 5X on the parlay. You yeah. say I hit a 10X and I lost a unit. I, I'm right. not going to explain that to them, though. I don't have time for trolls anymore. Yeah. I, used to, I used to coach them and try and show them, but I'm not even going to teach them the language. Yeah, it's just funny because, like, if someone looked at my overall UFC record, you would think I'm down a shitload of units because I'll go, like, 3 and 12 on a card, but I'll hit two big bets, you know? So it's just – that, dude, that, that was the craziest card, bro. The Ian Gary knockout, that happened yep. with a minute to go. The Shavkat submission happened with a minute to go. The Cody Garbrandt by decision was honestly one of my favorite plays, but it was five to one. So I think I only put, yeah, I put a or I put a half unit on that. How, um, how soon do we see John Jones fighting again? I mean, he took zero damage, and Steve yep. Hayes should be ready to go. So, what do you think, Trevor? Like maybe three, four months, maybe. I, I think we see him Fourth of July weekend. Yeah. Is when I think we see him. I think they do it around Fourth of July card, maybe, maybe Memorial Day card. I mean, that's a little too soon because we're in March. I think yeah. Fourth of July, right? Like they try to do it around that Fourth of July weekend. I, I think he tries a lot. Dana tries to get it done there. I'm not even interested in seeing the Stepe fight. I want to see him fight like Sergey Pavlovich or Curtis Blades or somebody, someone younger. Yeah, I don't. They, they got to do the steep A fight, though. And then I know, um, I know. I just don't want to see it. And then, you know, you saw me. I put up the graphic, right? We got it at plus 725. It was an odds play for me, right? We had the fourth round sub uh, in the, you know, in the other main event with uh, Miss Grasso. I oh, couldn't, nice. uh, and, yeah, I hit it. So I showed, I showed the things. I got it for plus 725 on bet openly, it was plus 300 on DraftKings. It was just math for me. It wasn't even uh it wasn't even there. Like I just said, okay, let's go. Like I'm gonna take it and yeah. she could get lucky and catch her, right? That was a crazy upset, bro. I know, but I mean that was it was just there was so much value. I'm just like, I can't not bet it. Yeah. And then I mean I gotta talk about because I'm just I'm seeing the matrix and I've never gone three in a row, but three NASCAR races, three NASCAR wins. We hit Mr. Byron at plus twelve hundred yesterday. Here's the crazy part for watching that race. It was, he led three quarters of the race. There was a crazy yellow and he got put back to third and he wasn't going to catch Larson four laps left. There was one more yellow and it let him get back. Even Pitt got him out, came out one car ahead and took off at the end and got us, got us the win. And, um, we got the F one win as well with Max Verstappen you know, I gave it out on Tuesday. It was at minus 120. I told everybody we put a unit and a half on that. We told everybody go hit it. It was going to go. I told everybody it's going to end 225. I was wrong. It ended up at minus 300. His car is so much better than everybody else's in F1 right now. Um, he's going to be a plus 200 favorite pretty much every weekend from here moving forward. Wow. Well, I'm ready to dive into some free plays, my dudes. What you All got right. today? All right. You want to go first, Gino? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep it uh, St. Mary's. Keep it West Coast over there. Uh, St. Mary's minus seven. Um, I saw it earlier, minus six. I missed that. I almost put six here, but we want to be honest. I didn't get six anymore, so minus seven. And then Washington Capitals, money line. I got plus 132 right now on bet openly. I, uh, I'm on St. Mary's too today. I saw it early. Um, I really like the line, but – 
my three I'm going to go with here. Um, we got a couple we're going to show, and I want to talk about what we did here. So we're going with Thurman today and why we're, why we're rocking with them. Uh, one we like to find, we got them closer to the nine point favorite. And here's the thing we got Thurman for plus 108 in opening, and it's minus 110. So huge difference there. Um, again, that's I like to play today. I like them over. Uh, the, the over steamed up a ton. I think the over's up to like 152 now. Uh, but I like firming this uh, with where this opened and where it landed. Uh, as soon as it hit there, it steam moved back. Some sharp money came in on it. When it hit four and a half, it went the other way. Um, Aaron Gordon, we got early uh, for Denver today. Um, he's just been crushing his assist line. He's been averaging 4.4 over his last 10. Uh, it's at minus 111. It's already up to minus like 135. It's probably going to end up at three at most places. Uh, we were just able to grab that early this morning. And then we grabbed Thomas Hurdle today uh, for a hockey play for everybody uh, with the Sharks. Um, the Jets are one of the tougher defensive teams in the league. They don't give up a lot of points. They don't give up a lot of goals. He's only three out of ten on this. And uh, this was a split market, so we were able to get you know some positive juice on this. So we jumped on this one today. I like it. I, and I love seeing minus 110 in a book and plus 108. Sick. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, if you're watching us on YouTube, you know, make sure you're checking us out there. If you're if you're listening on the pod, you can watch us because we're putting up all kinds of data on the screen for you guys to see where you can see it. It's just there, right? Like this is just, if you're going to give me that kind of value, right, I'm going to take it all day. I got one USC play for Saturday. I locked in yesterday. Um, I actually tweeted it out yesterday, but Alexander Romanov this this Saturday, I got him at minus one twenty. Um, I believe that number is going to climb. Um, it already has. It's up to one thirty and one forty already. Okay, so awesome. So yeah, I put that out on Twitter and in Discord and chalkboard yesterday. Um, but I think that number is going to hit minus one fifty. So I don't hate it if you're listening to it today and still able to get it at minus one thirty. Not sure if that's up on bet openly yet, Gino, but it probably will be in a few days. Um, but I just like the matchup he has here against Volkov. Volkov's very susceptible to the takedowns. Um, and I think Romanov coming off of that loss um, is going to improve the cardio. And just, I think this is a good matchup for him here. You know, I think he should be closer to minus 180. Um, so I really like him. I do worry about his cardio a little bit. Um, but. I think Volkov's kind of just like a gatekeeper. And I think Romanov, you know, he's coming off that loss, but I think he's 16 and one now. Um, and I just, I just like him to get this done with the takedowns. I believe Volkov gave up like eight to somewhere in like the eight to 12 takedown range in his last fight. Uh, so I think Romanov will have a lot of success with the wrestling. I think that loss was good for him. I think it gave him a, I too. a good, right. A good reality check. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you. I saw when you said that. I went and I was like, oh, man, that's a ton of value there. I think we're going to see a climb kind of like that Max Verstappen line. It's just he's a clear odds on favorite, and the line's just off to start. Right. Agree. All right. So we got Romanoff minus 120. I got Furman minus four and a half today at plus 108. Gordon over two and a half assists, and Thomas Hurdle under five points. And I'll let Gino finish his recap. Capitals plus one thirty two money line, and I like St. Mary's minus seven. Um, yeah, I just like St. Mary's in this game by double digits. Just that simple. Me too. Yeah, minus I when we're seeing it at the same spot. So. Awesome. Well, let's go have a good week. We got uh, conference tournaments finishing up and March Madness getting ready to kick off here. Yes, Later, sir. my dudes. Thanks, boys.